Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Restoration Therapy. In this one, we're going to continue on that last video where we worked on the MacBook laptop here, and we did some quality of life improvements and some repairs. So this is just sort of a recap of what we did. We installed RAM. We upgraded the RAM. We removed the trackpad. We cleaned it up. We um, moved the thing back into a more centered position replace the hard drive with SSD and put in a brand new battery. So the next thing we're going to do is get some software installed on this machine. So we're going to go to our more modern computer here and I'm going to download Mac OS X Mavericks, which I think would have been the version shipped with this machine. So we'll download this DMG file here and it looks like it's a roughly five gigabyte download and we're going to need a USB stick to put this on. So make sure that you have, you know, six to eight gigabyte USB sticks sitting around that we can use for this. So we'll download this to our machine. And while it's downloading, let's take our USB stick and we'll put it back into one of the slots. Yeah, this is an eight gig stick right here. Now we'll open up disk utility and we'll select the USB stick and check to make sure that it's Mac OS extended journal format. If not, we'll have to erase and change the format. But in this case, we're fine. So we'll click on restore and click on the image. And we'll click on the DMG that we just downloaded and choose. All right, so we're in good shape now. We'll hit restore, and then this is going to just create a bootable USB stick that we can move from here and put it into the laptop and install the operating system. So it takes a while to do, but I just kind of sped it up for your benefit. So we'll take it out now that we're done, and we'll stick it here into the laptop. Stick it right here. Slide over to this side, hit the power button to fire it up. And it may take a few uh, minutes to get running, but eventually it should recognize the bootable USB stick and we're off to the installer. All right, so at this point we're launching the installer and here it comes. Okay, so I wanna make sure that the mouse trackpad fix that I did work. So I'll just sit here and start clicking a bunch and it look, this looks amazing. This is actually responding to every single click which is a, such an improvement because before it was like one every 10, one every 20 click it would respond to. So now we'll get the inst installer underway by clicking continue. And here we're gonna have to select, uh, you know, format the hard drive. So right now we'll go up here to utilities and disk utility and select the SSD that we just installed and hit erase. Now you can see this is formatted as DOS, which is fine. It's probably just a Windows. I just pulled it from storage. And we'll format it as Mac OS X extended journal. And I'll just change the name to Macintosh HD and erase. This may take a minute or so, not too long, because it's SSD. When we're done with this, we can we can close the window. Now the drive looks good. We'll click on it and hit install. And just go find something to do for, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> it says it'll take 23 minutes, but it definitely took longer than that. So once we're installed, I'm gonna select my country, my keyboard type, and I'm not gonna connect to a Wi-Fi because this is gonna be for my son to play around with, and I don't want him to mess around on the internet. We're not transferring from any Macs. We'll agree with the terms and conditions and agree. All right, put my username. And actually now we are in good shape. Any moment now we're going to see a desktop and there it is. So now this machine is ready to play with. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much for going on this little journey with me. And I can't wait to uh, watch Cocomelon on this laptop with my son in the near future. <laughs> All right, so we'll shut it down and we'll come back in another episode later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.